So as you're driving north on the George Parks Highway, you'll want to go just past the South Denali viewpoint, and that mile 135.8, you'll see the sign here for the Kasuji Ken Campground. And this is the new campground they've put in. It just opened in the spring of 2017. And having been to a lot of parks in Alaska, I'll tell you, this is the nicest campground that I've seen so far in Alaska, and it is brand new. I would recommend stopping at the South Denali viewpoint. It's just a day use area, but they have bathrooms there and also some amazing views of the mountain if you get a chance to see it. Even on a cloudy day like today, sometimes you'll see a nice view of the mountain. We did get to see the summit of Mount McKinley today there. It's now called Denali, whereas it was Mount McKinley, and they've changed the name uh, a year or two ago. This little roundabout here. As we get into the campground, you can see this is a nice new road leading a couple miles here up onto the hill where we'll have some nice views from the campground. Thing you'll see when you come into the campground is the interpretive center and this is quite a nice facility notice the bear proof trash cans and then all through here we have signs talking about the area Really a beautiful facility. Some of the local flora, cloudberries, nagoonberry, appleberry, red currant, crowberry, raspberry, watermelonberry, lowbush cranberry. Of course, if in doubt, don't eat it. So we are right on the Chilitna River. You can also see on the map the Susitna River. In the Denina Athabascan language, Susitna means sand river, and Chilitna, also called Si'ilutnu, meaning straight hand river or tongue river. These rivers were the main highways for early explorers getting into this part of Alaska. Of course, now we take the train or the George Parks Highway. There's the Alaska Railroad and then the Chilitna River down here. And of course the George Parks Highway. A little more of the flora, spring beauty flowers, twin flower, wild geraniums, Alaskan poppies. Guide to all the plants and flowers in the area. Of course the venerable fireweed. And then something about the fauna here. All the animals to be found in the area. Wolves, owls, foxes, ravens, magpies, hares, lynx, moose. First, the grizzly. Oh, they even have a fireplace here. Back for a nice evening gathering place. Here's the famous Denali and the surrounding mountains. Mount Foraker, Mount Hunter, Alley, the great one. Moose's Tooth. And Mount Deception. I have never seen facilities this nice. Provided firewood. Nice place to sit and chat with your friends. Just smell the new cedar in here. Some nice artwork. This piece is called Through Your Spotting Scope by Jeffrey H. Dean.
When you get to the park, you'll find this fee station. This is pretty modern for an Alaska campground. Nice little map of the area with all the campsites listed. There's a nice RV campground as well as tent camping sites. A little bit about the wildlife in Alaska State Parks. And then the fee is quite reasonable. $5 per vehicle for day use. And then uh, $30 a night with electric on the RV hookup. And this uh, credit card kiosk is the modern addition here for typical Alaska park. So they have some very nice uh, cabins that you can rent here. This one looks particularly nice off here in the trees a little ways with the view of Denali and the mountain range. This is the tent camping area. They have small groups of tent camping areas signified by different names like eagles, bears, ravens. You can see the campsites are quite nice. Great views of the mountains. And if you keep driving along you'll see all the RV sites. It's a nice big loop here on the hillside. Some of them have a little bit of a view. There's also a hiking trail which provides some fantastic views of the mountain range. Very nicely done. This is Memorial Day weekend so there are quite a few people here. I imagine most days this will be completely clear of people. So the campsites have pretty wide RV parking spots and then electric hookups with 30 amp and even 50 amp sockets. Generally there's some nice uh, tent camping sites at each RV site so you could pick RV or tent camping. There's our little tent camping spot over there. So it's the next day here at the campground and uh, looking around you can see got a really nice trail here. This is what they call the Moose Flats interpretive trail. Manners nicely along here. And then we have some fairly nice views of the Chalitna River and the mountains kind of around and in front of Denali. So here we have a view looking straight into Denali National Park and Preserve and the gap in the mountains that you see uh, right up here is where Lower Ruth Glacier emerges. You can see the glacier moraines here, deposits of rock and debris that have been left by the receding glacier. And if you listen you can hear the traffic on the Parks Highway down below. And the Parks Highway is just on this side of the Chalitna River. And if you were to fly an airplane up that uh, Lower Ruth Glacier, you'd get up into the amphitheater of the gods and be right at the base of Denali. The forest right now is full of birds, mostly yellow rumped warblers, which have migrated in from Mexico and South America. So take a listen to those. Sorry, no telephoto lens to let you see them. world of ferns here along the trail.
Nice little bridge here over a wetland. It's a birch tree with some old man's beard hanging from it. It's actually a lichen. A lichen is a fungus and an algae living together in a symbiotic relationship. The algae provides food through photosynthesis, glucose production from the sun, and the fungus provides nutrients that are absorbed from the tree for the algae. You can see it hanging on that spruce tree there as well. Hey Widget! Here's Widget. She's a friend of mine's dog. Hey Widget! Hey! Widget's a cardigan corgi. And uh, Widget has some pretty cool eyes. They're uh, bicolored. Each eye has two different colors. Yes, you're a cutie. Come on. Come on. Come on, Widget. So just to show you some more of the typical plants that we have here. Got some willow in here. Big trees are spruce, birch, and uh, these little plants here that tend to choke off the trails. That's an alder, and uh, those are just prolific in this area. And they're wonderful for smoking salmon, but they do clog the trails up a bit. See, so see there another thicket of alder. Makes the forest really dense in this area. All these birch trees are quite old. It's a really old growth forest. That one's about 18 inches around. Welcome to Talkeetan, Alaska. Busy place today. So we made a quick stop at Talkeetan to sample some of the local food wares. This place is just packed. Packed with people from the train, tourists that came off the Alaska Railroad over there. They come from uh, cruise ships. It's an old gold mining railroad town, now filled with hippies and locals and natives and mountain climbers going up Mount McKinley. Thank you. 